I am honored to join you tonight, Ambassador Han Ying, as we get the opportunity to officially bid you farewell as you have completed your tour of duty in Suriname. You rightly pointed out that you started your tenure, Ambassador, in the midst of COVID-19 pandemic, but I appreciate that the challenges of those days did not discourage you from starting your official duties. Your dedication, Ambassador, to further advance the cooperative strategic dialogue between our countries has not gone unnoticed. From facilitating visits of dignitaries of Suriname to China, most notably my state visit, and talks with the Chinese leadership to supporting efforts to enhance the social and cultural ties. In terms of our portfolio of cooperative projects, which is varied, I take the opportunity to express deep appreciation for your efforts to assist with the implementation of these projects. During your tenure here in Suriname, you also witnessed milestone commemorations. Last year, of 150 years of Indian arrival, 160 years since the abolition of slavery, and yes, 107 years, 70 years of Chinese arrival. Indeed, as mentioned by you, Suriname prides itself on the cultural, linguistic, and ethnic diversity, but at the same time, the harmonious coming together to celebrate what we have. Ambassador, I also appreciate that you have shared your reflections on Suriname's economic and social recovery under the leadership of my government. The measures to make the economy healthy again have not been easy, in particular on the population. Surinamese are resilient people, and I am convinced that our unity and diversity provide the necessary ingredients to achieve sustained growth and sustainable development for all. Therefore, I support the bilateral partnership with your country and with your people, and that the relation and the partnership is very crucial for our shared future and the development of our countries. And the decision to honor you as the bearer of the Grand Officer and the Honorary Order of the Palm was appropriate in recognition of your work with dedication and passion here in our beloved country. Ambassador, distinguished guests, as countries of the Global South, we should continue to leverage and strengthen and bring to the attention of the international community matters of interest which concerns us. The achievement of the Sustainable Development Agenda is one of these matters where countries, large and small, should rally behind to ensure that no one is left behind and safeguard this planet for future generations. As we are preparing for another United Nations General Assembly and the Conference of the Parties on the Climate Change, we are reminded that it is imperative to join hands and find solutions for the common challenges we are faced with. We are faced with. One of these challenges is finding the appropriate balance between pursuing development objectives and protecting and preserving the environment. We expect to also partner with China in coming with innovative ideas and actionable solutions. Ambassador, yes, as you mentioned, 
and we could feel that we could feel that touch you have with our community indeed farewells are bittersweet you have made many friends in Suriname perhaps even met family members or you have visited many places in our beautiful country yet as a diplomatic officer you're quite aware that farewells such as these are ineffable part of the diplomatic life in closing i know that you bring fond memories of Suriname and its people with you and sure you will bring you a piece of the interior a piece of the fishing in Suriname River the Ayumara fish sure will bring also a piece of the cultural diversity the Suriname River where you have joined traveled and sure it will remember you of a lot of other friends you have in this country. That's why, that's why you are very welcome to visit, be it in a formal capacity or leisurely. You will be welcome. See Suriname as your second home. I wish you much success and blessings in your future endeavors. And I'll, quote, I'll close with a quote. There is a quote that says, Life is a journey, and every goodbye paves the way for a new hello. We therefore look forward to your successor in this position. But in the meantime, we'll continue to engage with your staff of the Chinese Embassy that remains on post. I thank you very much. Garantangi, Sisi, and may God bless you all. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let us bring a toast. Ambassador, may I invite you? And I'll ask you all to raise your glasses jointly with us. And we'll bring a toast on the enduring friendship between both countries, strengthened partnership in all areas of mutual interest, and more importantly, to the health and prosperity of you, Ambassador, and your loved ones. Thank you. And to the health of your Excellency. Yes, yes, yes. yes.